Hi guys. So I wanted to make a video today about what you see going on in the world. First, we want to isolate from one pestilence, right? And now we want to isolate from the violence that we're seeing out in the world today. Um, I just wanted to let you know that no one is guilty ever. No one is guilty. Neither side is guilty. Both sides believe that they're fighting for justice. Both sides believe that they're fighting for rights, that they're doing the right thing. Um, no one is ever guilty. All of us are declared innocent. No one is ever guilty. And so I'm going to tell you why. Um, the structure that we live under is faulty. The structure that we live under is faulty. We have a government that enforces law, okay? Legislates, executes, enforces law. We have a government, every country has it. No man is not under government. The government system is faulty. What it predicates itself on is the assumption that people are bad and we need laws to keep them in check. Okay, so right away, we distrust our neighbors. Um, you're supposed to love your neighbors. Right away, we believe that there's an enemy out there that the government law needs to protect us from. Okay, but when you truly love your enemies, your enemies disappear. You can't love them, however, if you mistrust them. So the inherent flaw is in the system. No man is guilty. Every man wants the same thing. Every single human being wants to be loved, wants to be accepted, wants peace. Every single man wants it. The system does not allow for it. And that's because law requires enforcement. Law is the highest authority in the land. Two of those things are so inherently incorrect because the highest authority, our highest authority is the government. We must obey. But there is a higher authority that we then cannot listen to because we're twisted into believing in alternate authority. Our highest authority is our heart and our conscience because this is where the true God of the universe sits. He sits in our heart and in our conscience and he will tell us by convicting us in our conscience, oh my goodness, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that's your highest authority. That tells you what to do and what not to do. Government now takes the place of God and becomes our authority. So there are things that are written on paper, laws that are written in stone, laws that say things such as um, for a man to lie with another man is an abomination. And the man that wants to lie with another man starts to think, society doesn't accept me. God doesn't accept me. My family doesn't accept me. What's wrong with me? Why do I feel this way? What, what am I doing wrong? Why? What's wrong with me? There's something wrong with me. I'm scared. I'm not accepted. I feel shunned. I don't feel loved. And then man starts to behave in a manner that reflects his beliefs about himself. Man then starts to behave in a manner that reflects his own beliefs about his faulty personality. Okay, all of that is incorrect. All of that is incorrect. All of that is incorrect, okay? The system made him think that there was something wrong with him. But if he simply followed his heart and was able to express his heart without judgment by the law that people created that said 
this sexual orientation is bad, he would be free without fear of judgment, feeling loved, feeling accepted. And he would go about his business as a happy person. Okay? The system is what is faulty, you guys. And people want to get the system to change. They want the system to change. No. Nope. 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 It, no. You, you can't have a system at all. There's already an authority, a governing authority inside of my heart. I'm good. I won't do anything evil. Law is the knowledge of good and evil. It tells you what is good, holy, acceptable, and legal. And it tells you what's illegal, criminal, bad, and unacceptable. It's the knowledge of good and evil. And it twists just like the serpent does. It twists the mind into fearing wrong things, wrong ideas, wrong principles, based on lies, based on false assumptions, based on the fact that everyone's out to get you, that everyone is evil. It simply isn't true. And so to move against anything, okay, we don't ever want to be against what's going on in the world because all men want the same thing. All men think they're on the right side. But all we do when we choose a side is cause more conflict. We add our energy to one side that's opposing another side. And all we're doing is adding our energy to a fight, to a battle. The battle between good and evil. And we all think we're on the side of good. You cannot participate in the battle because it hinders the expansion of the truth. We think that we want the system to change. No, we don't. No, we don't. We want the hearts of men to change. Gandhi said, be the change you want to see. So if you want to see peace, love, and acceptance out in the world, that is what you become. You become peace, love, and acceptance. That's what you do. And you simply shine a light. You simply shine a light on the truth. Peace will beget peace. Fighting will never result in peace. Changing the system will never change a man's heart. You can change all the laws you want. You can take away rights. You can give more rights. But that will never change the heart of mankind. Ever. You must be the change you want to see. You have to learn to love your neighbor as yourself because they're not out to get you. They have the same desires the same heart, the same compassion as you do, no matter how deeply buried it is by fear and unacceptance. So you guys, be the change you wanna see. Spread only peace and love and acceptance and never stand for one side against another, never. There is no good and evil. There's only good. There's only good. Thanks for watching. I'll check the links below, you guys, okay? I, I wrote a book about this. It's called Jesus Law. This is what Jesus proposed to the problems that we're having with law and law enforcement, okay? Force. Enforcement. Force only begets more force you guys. Run. Run for the hills. Run as far as you can from any of that. Okay. Thanks for watching.